What is going on guys, DBG here, and I actually decided to do something crazy on All Star Sunday night. And what I decided to do was, I'm just gonna show some clips now. I decided that as soon as I saw that Yanis was not going to win final, uh, the all, well, well Yanis didn't win All-Star Game MVP, the first thing I did was I threw up the Yanis card for 24 hours. So I basically meant that it was 24 hours later, it was like a good bit after the market had completely crashed and a lot of people expected it to be Yanis, so the market was crashing even more, especially on Yanis cards in particular during the All-Star game. As soon as he uh, didn't get All-Star MVP, there were so many of them that his price kind of stayed somewhat low, it was about 350K. But last night, which is when this auction ended, this card went for a lot more. I took a huge risk. I was honestly thinking of selling him before the All-Star game and that would have been a massive, massive mistake. I took a huge risk and it paid off. So basically, the re what I ended up getting for Yanis, this is a card that I got free. I got him free from that locker code. I somehow managed to get the ball in the corner, but I managed to get 442,000 MT for Yanis. So as of right now, I have 569,000 MT on PS4. And to be honest, the reason why I went and I sold this Yanis, and it's nothing to do with me wanting to spend a load of MT now. And to be honest, I could easily go and buy this guy here. I could go and buy Jason Tatum, who's a beast. Jason Tatum's incredible. I spend my 160K on Jason Tatum, and then I could go and spend a little bit extra MT and go and buy Joe Harris, who's uh, about 45, 50K MT, who's a beast. Don't get me wrong, Joe Harris is incredible. But like, do I want to spend 50k MT on a Joe Harris? Whereas eventually um, it's gonna get to the stage where we're getting so many cards with similar enough releases. We're gonna get so many cards with Hall of Fame limitless range. And to be honest, I can wait. I'm quite patient anyway. So I'm honestly going to wait. It's only another two months till the playoffs start. That's my logic. So not even two months, it's another month and a half until the playoffs start. In a month and a half, once the playoffs start, trust me, trust me. Actually no, say it's around two months. But like, these cards are all gonna be irrelevant. You're gonna see 95 overall cards that are going for 10k MT. We're gonna see pink diamonds going for 15, 20k MT. So to be honest, this may be the stage of the year where it's best to start like saving your MT. And also, if you guys are looking at the throwback elite cards we're getting, they're getting better and better. The throwback elite cards are getting better. Like, in the start of the year, this Dominique would have been four or 500k. Dominique Wilkins is insane. This card is incredible. And he's only, actually no, to be fair, he is about 400K. But he's gone for a little bit less than that when he came out anyway. Um, there's loads, like, if you guys want, like Kyle Korver is quite cheap. I know he's 40K, but he was a little bit cheaper. But these guys are getting better and better, especially with the premium packs as well. These Chinese New Year players, like all of these except for the Sapphires are beasts. Like Josh Smith, I know he is that little bit expensive, but as the year goes on, these guys are going to be getting cheaper and cheaper. And these Amethysts, which are still gonna be usable no matter what, no matter what, an Amethyst will always be usable if it's like 91, 92 overall, are just gonna keep getting better and better. So honestly, I don't think that it's worth it keeping major MT stuck in players. Like, I just don't think it's worth having 400k tied up in Yanis, whereas I can have this 400k, I can basically keep my squad at a stage where I'm competitive, and you guys are saying, oh, I need to, I need Yanis to win, like, I don't use Yanis, I just made a video where I used a budget squad, I used a budget squad to get this Dr. J, I used a budget squad to get this Akeem one, I didn't even use Yanis in these. If I played, I didn't play enough games to get uh, Larry Johnson or Manu Ginobili, but at the same time, if you take out the two of those cards, I've gotten all the others. And the only reason I didn't get them was because I just didn't play on this system. I've gotten Micah Finley, I've gotten Danny Sly, I've gotten Julius Irving, I've gotten Hakeem Olajuwon, and I haven't used Yanis for any of it. So I went and sold them. To be honest, there's no real expensive players I have. Yeah, I could probably get a little bit by, well, maybe 10, 15K by selling Wade. Maybe the same for uh, Mari Stadamar. I'm waiting until the price of E goes up. And once the price of E goes up to like eight or nine K, which is gonna happen eventually. Trust me, this card's too good. It's gonna happen eventually. I've got six of him waiting. And like easily, if I sold all my cards, if I sold like all kind of my extras, I probably would have close to, I'd, I'd say I'd have close to a million MT. I don't think I'd have quite a million, but I would be not that far away. So to be honest, yeah, like there is honestly no point keeping MT tied up in all of these players. And also, 
the biggest reason why I'm going to say I sold the Yanis is this card right here. Xavier McDaniel. I genuinely think this guy is comparable to Yanis. I know obviously he does not have like the best, well he doesn't have the Hall of Fame badges of Yanis, but he's a 6'9 demigod. Insane driving and standing life, decent post game. He's got a great shot mid. He's got a way better shot three than Giannis. 95 driving, 80 standing dunk. He's got 83 ball control. And even though he has 83 ball control, I've got Mike D'Antoni as the coach. So it goes up to an 87, so he can speed boost as well. He's got a nice enough steal, nice shot contest. Great rebounding stats. He's got good speed, speed, ball acceleration. Well, not Giannis good, it's not bad at all. 90 lateral quickness, insane on ball defense. Well, decent on ball defense by Q, decent low post, really versatile. And he's just an incredible, incredible card. So like the team I'm gonna run with in this game is Xavier McDaniel at the one, Julius Irving at the two. I'm gonna take out Draymond Green and I'm going to put in, just because I haven't used him, I'm gonna put in Swaggy P. And I'm gonna use E at the four and Hakeem at the five. With Josh Richardson, Darius Miles, Hito Turkoglu, Christoph Porzingis, Joe Chi, Ray for friends and Danisel and Brent Barry rounding off the bench. So this is an all 99 squad. So I'm gonna face the best squad possible. I'm just gonna show in this video, like obviously Giannis is better than Xavier McDaniel, but I don't think there's enough of a difference to warrant keeping 450K in a, in a Giannis card when this guy's 20K. Okay, perfect. We're playing as a really high rated squad here. Kemba, Brandon Roy, Vince Carter, Kevin Love and Ben Watts. Hey, good board, Swaggy Pete. Let's go to McDaniel. Spin him in. And he makes that layup. Good job. Good job in transition. And obviously Carter would have just jumped over Hakemba to finish that, but... Say not Carter, uh, Giannis, but he's not quite Giannis. Spin. Fake. Got him jumping. Easy layup. There we go. So uh, McDaniel, four points early enough. Like, obviously not the best start to the game. From mid, knocks it down, let's go. Okay, they're expecting to pass Dr. J and McDaniel goes right down the middle and jams it on them. He is literally the poor man's yes. Or actually no, the uh, I'm not gonna say poor man's Yanis because I have the empty to buy Yanis. He's the conservative buyer's man's Yanis. Okay, it was meant to be the E, not to Darius, or not to, uh, Swaggy P, but uh, great rebound there by Akeem and nice dunk. There we go, easy layup. This guy is like, sums up the uh, the player you know you're gonna beat. The uh, overall snobs in 2K. Which is like 90% of the comment section. So the guys that think overall means more than the player's actual stats in game. So he is high overall players and they're just not very good. Like this, like unless this is a third Diamond Kyrie, which I doubt it. The first two Diamond Kyries are not good at all, especially the first one. Get out of there, Hakeem. What are you doing? Get out of there, Hakeem. Get out of there, Hakeem. Like, what was, what did he think was gonna happen there? Okay, we got a score out of it. But like, he was just getting in the way. Getting in the way of the mismatch. Okay, he wants to off ball with Ben Wallace. Keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. There we go. Okay, doubles off a shooter, green. You can't you, you can't leave Hakeem open. He is one of the most dangerous shooters in this game when he's got space. Okay, they switched off completely, left Darius Miles shoot the three. Miles knocks it down. One of the most underrated shooters in the game. He's such a good slasher that people leave him open, but he's money if you leave him open. That's a good contest. Good board though. Good contest to hand up on that. Now we're just gonna zigzag to get the jumper. Oh, he's shooting with a cold Kyrie in the corner and he walks out of bounds. Is this guy giving up? Yep, that's a rage quit. So anyway, that's the video. Honestly, like, I think Xavier McDaniel is not that much worse than Giannis and that's not the specific reason why I sold Giannis. The reason why I did was because I think, as always, that you guys should spend the least amount of MT possible. Straight up. You guys should have, say, the bare minimum MT tied up in your players that you can still win and have fun. Because in about a month and a half to two months from now, there's going to be pink diamonds. There's going to be diamonds for really cheap. And you're gonna see the market completely, completely crash. You're gonna see Ruby moments cards in the playoffs that have got better stats than Amethyst and Diamonds right now, like the J.R. Smith last year. You're gonna see so many really, really good cards that honestly, I think that 
if you're spending too much MT right now, this is kind of the worst time to spend MT. Because the start of the year, I understand it because it's really, really long until the playoff cards come out. And honestly, I don't think it's long enough now. I think we're going to be getting some really nice 20th anniversary promos. They're getting better and better and better. As you guys saw, it is a 1980 overall Pink Diamond Magic, which came out in the last one. And we still got Kevin Durant Pink Diamond, a much better Kevin Durant Pink Diamond than we've already gotten coming out. We have got Pink Diamond LeBron and Larry Bird. And then we have also got the likes of... and. In the end, we're going to get Galaxy Opal, Blake Griffin. Then we've got the likes of Steph Curry, James Harden's Pink Diamond cards. They're going to be way better than the Pink Diamonds you already have. And all these cards come out. And then all the other cards come out in the collection with them. We've got so many great cards left to come out in the next couple of months that honestly, I don't think you guys should have any MT tied up in anyone. If you've got anyone that costs more than 100k, if you're good with it, then don't take my advice. But if you want to do what I think is the best thing to do, and I honestly, I'm not spending a cent on this game for the rest of the year. We have 560,000 MT on PS4. I'm not spending another cent on this account for the rest of the year. And I can guarantee you that by June, I'm going to have a full pink diamond squad. That is a guarantee. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.